welcome back. William Byron is a teenage racing phenom. He learned how to drive a stock car through a computer simulation program called iRacing. And ever since then, he has quickly risen through the ranks. He has a big time sponsor and a big time future. Lindsey Keith has the story. You know, I drive into the track and I'm thinking about the race with my dad and it's always the same butterflies and always the same feeling of, um, you know, just being blessed to be there. And being there has paid off. Last year, William exceeded his goal by becoming Rookie of the Year for North Carolina. And this year, he is on track to do it again, moving up three series in just three years. William's potential is amazing. He just got such a personality and he's so smart and so intelligent, just got such a professionalism about him that outside of the race car is just fun to work with somebody like that. And then his ability is gonna speak for itself. Uh, I mean, his statistics will show that he's got a lot of speed and you know, you see how he runs in the late models and how he's run since the first time he's ever raced in Legends cars and he's just always fast. It's been a really big step. I mean, the Canon series is kind of the premier series for short track racing. And it's also the beginner's level of NASCAR racing in general. So I think it's nationally recognized and that's pretty cool for Liberty and for my team. That partnership with H. Scott is brand new, but already showing great promise. I think Kevin is definitely the right choice because I've always felt comfortable with him and he's pretty young. He knows what I need to hear to be able to make the adjustments. And uh, that sometimes takes years to happen and I felt like 30 minutes into practice today, he was explaining to me what he what he needed in the car. And for him to be specific and say what he needs and understanding his race car, is uh, it's, it's pretty cool. I just watch a ton of videos throughout the week and try and learn as much as I can. And I have a notebook that I, like when I'm on a plane ride, I just you know sit down and write what I think I need for the weekend. So I think that's important. And I think that's the only way that you can really succeed is if you do your homework before beforehand so that you're prepared. But his homework is not limited to NASCAR. He is still in high school, on the swim team, a boy scout, and a volunteer at his local soup kitchen. Meanwhile, taking classes online at Liberty University. During the week, I focus on my schoolwork, and, but I, in the back of my mind, I also think about my race, and I daydream about you know what it's gonna be like when I get to the racetrack. William could be racing at the next level next year. He, he, I don't know where he could go from here. I think he's got the potential to do anything he wants to do. But my job is just to give him the best car that he can, and William's 90% of it. And I think that the key to success is just adapting off of different environments and I've been able to do that ever since I started racing so that's one of my strong suits and that's what I feel confident about is going into different environments almost every week and doing something different and learning from it. Byron is a great kid and a friend of the show. We had him in the studio a few months ago when he was on the Liberty University campus. He posted a top 10 finish in his first K&N Series race. Now, eight years ago, Joey Logano was in the K&N Series, and he recently won the Daytona 500. That lets you know the K&N Series is one of the top developmental series around.